While exploring the fascinating ecosystem of the Nilgiri's biosphere in the Western Ghats, you would be lucky to take notice and hear whistles, squeaks or howls emerging from the thicket. This is the call of an elusive species communicating amongst its clan with its peers or pups. Welcome to the world of the Dhol, the Indian wild dog. Unlike other dogs, Dholes are actually wild canids, efficient predators and communal clan hunters. These rust-colored carnivores once roamed a large portion of the jungles and the mountain forests of Central and East Asia. In spite of its hunting talent and its social bonds, the Dhol has not been able to keep off the endangered list. According to the IUCN Red List, there are just about 950 to 2500 Dholes left in the wild. That's much much less than the world's tigers. The canid's scientific name is Kuon alpinus and they are the only species in the Kuon genus. In other words, if we lose the Dhol, we lose an entire evolutionary genus. Extremely adept hunters, Dholes are highly efficient, intelligent and very social. In Dhol clans, only one dominant pair will breed with each other. The rest of the group assists in caring for the mother and pups. Clan sizes differ depending on the ecosystem and prey availability. Before embarking on a hunt, clans go through quite an elaborate pre-hunt social ritual such as nuzzling, body rubbing and mounting. It is said that doles are dogs that kill better than cats. For instance, a clan of doles can strip the carcass of a full-grown samba deer in just about 30 minutes. Clan sizes vary, can be 2, 5, up to 10 members or even higher. Clan size is a function of the prey size and sometimes multiple clans collaborate while hunting larger prey such as a buffalo or a sambar. Being hypercarnivorous, which means roughly 70% of the diet has to be meat, dholes need relatively high prey numbers to raise litters and sustain their clans. This is one of the key issues in their survival in India. Dholes inhabit some of the most threatened, degraded and disconnected forest landscapes. There has been an unprecedented destruction of their habitat apart from a decline in their prey availability. The Western Ghats landscape in India supports the largest dhol population in the world. That said, dholes have disappeared from 60% of their historic range in the past 100 years. Much lower number of dholes are reported from the rest of the country. It is thus said that if wild tigers go, it is almost certain the much overlooked dholes will vanish even faster and earlier. How many species, big or small, will we let go of? How many like the Dhol could vanish even without a fight? To survive, Dholes will need good science, public attention, political will and importantly way way more initiative by way of spreading awareness. To survive, 
this species and so many others need many more champions. Care for the dolls, help wildlife conservation, lest they shall all disappear into the mist.